Hey there. So since I've started uploading videos to my channel again after doing Strata and been like making some tutorials for that, I've been kind of enjoying it. And so I think I'm going to continue um, and make some stuff showing some of the other stuff that I'm working on. So I'm going to show you guys uh, a little project that I've got going. Um, this is a new thing. And basically, it's another procedural generation tool. Um, and what it does is it generates 3D uh, levels. And it does it by generating long chains of 3D objects that branch out, turn, and spawn little kind of sub, sub chains. A um, little bit like an L, L system, but, but not. Um, and so what we have is just this really simple rigid body based character controller with, uh, I'm using Cinemachine for the camera, which is actually, you can see it's like clipping through there, but it's, um, it's actually really nice. Uh, this is kind of my first time really using it and I've been having fun with it. So I recommend you check it out if you haven't yet. Uh, I don't even think this is the newest one. Um, and we've got these mechanics where you can climb and there's also this, um, there's also this, uh, let's see if it's, it seems like it's not working, um, blink, kind of blink teleport mechanic. Let me collect this thing first and then we can, I'll show you teleporting. Um, so th that bar that you can see is a, um, is a stamina bar, uh, a little bit inspired by Breath of the Wild with the like climbing and stamina. I like the idea of making traversal kind of interesting. Uh, and so we can see when we collect that kind of red cube objective, the color scheme has, uh, has varied. See the frame rate's dropping a little bit here because we're looking back at the kind of busier part of the level. Um, and so we have these procedural color schemes. Basically what I'm doing is generating an anchor color and then a the inverse of that color along with some uh, saturation variations and then the golden ratio of the anchor color. So we have kind of like uh, the color, the desaturated version of the color, the inverted color, and then a kind of a color that has a nice relationship to it on the color wheel. So it's kind of like basic color theory stuff, just in, you know, turned into code. Um, and it's, it's kind of fun. I actually like the color schemes, like this kind of watermelon color scheme we've got here. Um, and so when we jump on it, we get another one. This one's like a little more subdued. Um, and so basically right now it just endlessly spawns new um, objectives when you collect the previous one and you can just kind of like bounce around in this weird world. Um, there's my blink teleport thing. This is inspired by uh, Puck from Dota 2. I played like 2,000 hours of Dota 2 and Puck was my favorite. Uh, it's a weird fairy dragon guy. Super fun to play. Um, so I might turn this into an asset store thing. I don't know if people will be interested in this kind of like abstract procedural generation stuff. It's more like a toy than a tool. Um, so I might just make it into a game. The other thing I'm thinking about, or like not a big game, like a small game uh, to put on itch or something. But the other thing that I'm thinking about is to maybe try to expose some of the procedural generation stuff in a build of the game. So people can, uh, you know, play the game and mess with the mess with the generation. Um, I think that could be kind of cool. Um, my theme is that it's like a weird nanotech sculpture garden, and you're going to be like a little maintenance spider robot that has to go and do jobs for some AI that like owns you. Um, kind of inspired by, I read a really great story by Tobias Bucknell that I really enjoyed this summer, which I have to look up the title, I can tell you guys. Um, but it was really, really cool. And I kind of just like these, it's just kind of chill, you know, we're just like jumping around in this place, this kind of pretty, pretty and strange place, not stressful, no enemies. Um, I'm really into games that just focus a lot on movement and I like the idea of, f you know, kind of free, free movement. It's almost like a, it's almost like an interpretation of the open world idea, obviously like in a super lo-fi 
low polygon kind of way, but just the idea of the, like we're just kind of going around doing these little missions. Um, you can see the frame rate is dropping here, uh, just when we're looking. Um, so actually, I'll jump, I'll jump below the level so we can see the level. So these levels are pretty big. This is I'm probably pushing the. Let's look up. I put like a first-person look mode in here, with also with Cinema Machine. So here we can see I've got a little blue fog. To uh, it's pretty big the level, and that's why the frame rate is dropping. So far, we've just all been kind of confined in this area, and you can control the algorithm to make it like more spread out or less spread out, or more vertical or less vertical. Right now, it's kind of flat and clumpy. Um, I think this is 5,000 instances of the like main platform. And we can zip back. Um, let's get some different colors. What do we want on there? That's kind of nice. And just push C to uh, regenerate the color palette. It doesn't cost anything. Um, and then these things, so basically what it is, is it's a long continuous chain and that's how we, you can kind of see it meandering along there. It's a long continuous chain and then it has a chance to spawn off these like sub features. Like you, over here, you can see this weird kind of tree looking thing with the white and blue, the thing that the red cube is on. So it has a chance to spawn those um, and a chance to spawn these larger pieces. Um, and of course, uh, you can put like you can put all kinds of all kinds of stuff in there, including like hand authored pieces. This is all very algorithmic. Um, let's just generate like uh, something else so we can see what it looks like. Yeah, for some, it throws up these like pretty. I like these forms. Like this, somehow the beginning of the level often gets kind of like snarled up like this into these like weird can't really see it can't get a good view more dense kind of formations and then there are these like long um, longer tracks that go out to other places it's just pretty fun to jump around in um, so yeah I might do something with this uh, but I just wanted to show it to you guys because I make all these things and then they just sit on my hard drive and I never show anybody. So I figure at least whether or not I finish it, I'll just make a video so you guys can see it. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please uh, leave a comment or like the video or, uh, or subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Um, that's always nice for me to, to know that people are watching. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions about this or the approach, uh, or anything else, feel free to, uh, to drop me a line on Twitter. I'm at Matt Marifish. All right, thanks for watching.